We all dream about hitting the jackpot one day, with big dreams and plans for a bright future. But how many of you really know what to do after winning the lottery? Because nearly 70% of lottery winners end up broke within 7 years. You might remember the story of 2001 Powerball winner David Edwards, who won $280 million, but quickly blew through the money by purchasing a house, three racehorses, a fiber optics company, and a multitude of other luxuries. He and his wife returned to substance use and had numerous run-ins with police for possession of illegal substances, pills, and heroin. And within seven years, he was back to square one. So, if you don't want this to happen to you, here are 10 things to do immediately after you win the lottery. Number 10. Maintain privacy Don't tell anyone This is the single most important rule for maintaining sanity after winning the lottery. Do everything you can to keep your precious anonymity intact. Don't share the news with your friends, neighbors, co-workers, or even your family. Resist even the urge to tell your spouse or significant other, at least for the time being. The Lottery Commission may also offer to have you appear on TV for a press conference. Otherwise, you will never be anonymous. You can always tell your friends after all the excitement has died down. If you choose to ignore this advice, your reward will be a flood of phone calls and letters begging for cash. Maintaining your anonymity and protecting your privacy should be the first step when it comes to winning the lottery. Avoid impulsive decisions If you've ever imagined how you would spend the millions you won from the lotto, you probably have a pretty decent picture in your head already. Don't spend money foolishly after winning the lotto. The next thing you ought to do is not blow all your winnings in one go. Act casual without tipping anyone off. You should make photocopies of your tickets if you have evidence that you did in fact win the lottery. Also, it's important not to suddenly act strange. Otherwise, your friends and co-workers may pick up on your sudden change in behavior and find out your life-changing secret number. Keep it in a safe place now, before you go down to the lottery headquarters to cash in your ticket, there are going to be a few things you're going to have to do. After all, most lotteries give you up to six months to get your affairs in order before you claim your winnings. Wait, before you claim your prize, remember that the State Lottery Commission will publicize the identity of every claimant, and often lottery winners are permitted to claim their prizes months after the drawing, so you must not rush in to collect your winnings when you're not fully prepared. Remain Anonymous Some states will allow you to remain anonymous when you claim your winnings. If you're fortunate to live in one of those states, once again, thank your lucky stars by all means. Take full advantage of this right. However, most states will only give you your money under the terms that they have the right to publicize your name and broadcast your face all over the media. They're not only looking out for their best interest, but they could care less about your safety. If, unfortunately, you live in one of those states, before claiming your ticket, do your best to see what can be done to preserve your anonymity. If you have to form a trust before you claim your winnings, do it. Just know that you may have to hold off on signing your ticket so that you can claim your winnings in the name of the trust. That's where number 9 comes in. And number 9. Know about state rules Learn about the state's rules and chart a plan. Don't rush to claim your prize. Don't go out and claim your lotto prizes the moment you get your ticket. This is important for two reasons. First, claiming your ticket within a week of the announcement risks causing more trouble than necessary. If your prize is large enough to draw media attention. Second, and perhaps more crucially, giving yourself at least a week to claim your prize gives you plenty of time to prepare for whatever comes next. If you wish, you should be able to wait much longer than a week. Most lotteries give winners 6 to 12 months to claim their wins. Check the rules of the issuing authority to make sure you have as much time as you think you do before you cash the ticket. Number 8. Open a new bank account Rent a safe deposit box. Contact your bank and see if they have any vacant safe deposit boxes. Tell them you're going on a trip and you need to store some documents for a few months. When you go down to the bank in person to open your box, bring the ticket along with some other fake papers and, of course, don't lose your safety deposit key number. 
Change your contact information as inconvenient. Get out of town when people find out about your winnings. It's all over. Even if you don't tell them, they will notice the changes about you. People are not stupid. They'll be able to sniff the money right off of you. This is why you have to change your address and your phone number. But that money will always be tempting. So, for making wise financial choices, hire financial advisors. Number 7. Hire an attorney, lawyer, accountant, and financial advisor. While hiring legal and financial consultants, it would be wise to hire financial and legal specialists. Now that the realization has set in with a dependable financial plan, it's much harder to get ahead of yourself and blow all your profits on fancy dinner clothes and vacations. You're capable of making wise financial choices. You'll appreciate in the future that you carefully selected your attorney, your accountant, and your financial advisor. Try to assemble a trustworthy team because some people may try to steal your winnings. Immediately retain an attorney if you fail to keep your anonymity. Because if you are not anonymous, you'll likely be flooded with lawsuits. So, it's important to get a partner from a larger national firm. Do not use your local attorney. This includes your long-standing family attorney who did your mother's will. Do not use the lawyer you have trusted your entire life because of his long and faithful service to your family. In fact, don't use any law firm that has any connection to your family or friends. You want someone who has never heard of you to accomplish this. You should drive to the nearest major city and walk into one of those national firms and ask for one of their trust and estate partners, unlike small-time lawyers from larger firms who deal with wealthy clients on a daily basis. Open a blind trust if you win the lottery. You should hire your tax attorney once your client, the lawyer, is legally bound to maintain your confidentiality and tell them you want to open a blind trust in order to claim the lottery prize as an anonymous trustee. This way, all contact with the lottery commission will be made through your lawyer and you're more likely to protect yourself and your anonymity. But before saving your money, keep liabilities off the door. Number 6. Pay all your debts. Maybe you have a mortgage or car loan or something of that nature. Pay everything off so that you no longer have to pay today's interest payments. They're pretty high. And yeah, thereafter, maybe you want to do some investing, right? You want to put money away for college education. You want to put money away for retirement. All of those things are overwhelming, especially in such large amounts of money. So, for this reason, it would probably be best to have somebody who's a professional handle all of that for you. Pay all of your outstanding traffic fines and parking tickets and catch up on your alimony or child support payments. If you don't take care of all these potential issues, you could end up in jail or in court once national attention is focused on you. This is especially true if you have any unpaid debts, if it's discovered that you're a multi-millionaire, it's highly probable that anyone you owe money to will try to take as much money as possible from you. Number 5. Don't quit your job. Do not quit your job. While an average paint job could never compete with millions and millions of dollars, for some, winning the lotto means spending thousands on luxuries, while for others, it's a chance to escape from monotonous and tedious employment. But before you do your ideal resignation monologue in front of your boss, hold off on quitting your job, given that it takes time to make wise investments, especially if you're looking at investing in real estate. Investing in a second home or buildings for businesses and renting out properties is a great way to do so. If you really want to quit the job, it's fine unless you have other options. You may have quit your 9 to 5 as soon as you heard the good news. Who could blame you? Most people are in dead-end jobs that do nothing to serve their purpose. Unless you're in a job that you absolutely love, there's no reason to hold on to it now that you no longer have to work for a living. You finally have the time to pursue the things you've always been passionate about. Perhaps you've always wanted to be a dancer, an artist, or master that new language. Perhaps you've always wanted to turn that hobby into your full-time gig or simply just work on yourself. Whatever it is, now is the chance to work hard and have the option to work on the things that matter to you the most and to develop those skills you once only dreamed of having. 
With money comes freedom, and with freedom comes opportunity, and with opportunity comes growth. Do your best not to sleep on your newfound freedom. Winning the lottery is not an excuse to stop working. It's not an instant ticket to early retirement, nor is it a time to get lazy. Instead of allowing your mind to atrophy, jump on this massive opportunity that you've been given. Get busy, get to work on the things you're passionate about, and allow yourself to grow into the person you've always wanted to become. Now that the money grows, it's time to invest it and enjoy some flexibility. Number 4. Invest in Assets Choosing low-risk investments after you've paid off all your debts, saved for an emergency fund, and saved money for retirement, it's time to enjoy some flexibility. Here's where you might have some fun, take that dream vacation with your family, or maybe it's time to upgrade your car. Go for secure assets, such as balanced portfolios of equities and bonds. Remember that real estate is a fantastic investment that endures throughout time as well. But growing your assets is not enough if you're not taking enough measures to secure them. Number 3. Secure Your Assets People with a lot of money need to be careful not to lose their assets to creditors, disgruntled spouses, and ex-spouses, as well as people who win against you. They may hunt for excuses to sue you if they believe you've got a lot of money. The best defense is to create a range of hurdles that give creditors access to your money and property. Deactivate your social media accounts and change your email address. After that, you should take steps to safeguard your assets. Asset protection tactics can range from depending on state and law exemptions to using trusts and family limited partnerships or limited liability firms to create numerous barriers. It may be possible to use several different tactics, either independently or in combination. The next step after securing your assets should be to review your estate plan if you suddenly become wealthy as a result of your victories. This may be the first time you've had to think about the estate tax. Secure your assets. As a recent millionaire, you can find yourself involved in certain legal issues. Some may come from ex-spouses looking to sue for more money, jealous friends, and of course, watch out for scammers. Number 2. Make a social impact. Making a social impact is a great thing to give back to the world in any manner you can. As a lottery winner, your whole character and sense of appreciation may be substantially impacted by your charity work. Find causes that inspire you and that you believe in and make a social impact. Your generosity will greatly benefit others and even raise awareness of particular problems and causes. Invest in hospitals, medical facilities, or even nonprofit organizations to support their efforts to improve the area in which you live. Help others. We all know you didn't work hard to earn this money, you simply got lucky. So it's a beautiful thing if you want to share your luck with others, it's perfectly okay. Go ahead and do so if you want to donate to your favorite charity. And now might also be a good time to help those close to you, who you know need help the most. Of course, everyone could use some help, but we all know that you and your millions aren't going to be able to save the entire world. So be selective with those you choose to help because depending on how discreet you've been about your recent luck, there may or may not be many that come to you with their hands out. Donate to charity. Loads of lottery winners love spreading their good fortune around. And that's great. You might have a couple of charities in mind already. Make a list of all the nonprofits you'd like to help and ask your financial team to help you decide how much to give. It's not all about giving, though. Every time you give money to a charity, you get a federal tax deduction. So you're not only helping a good cause, you're helping your bank balance too. It's a win-win. Now that you have enough money to do whatever you want, you need to work out what that actually is. Society makes us think that the most expensive things, like huge mansions or flashy cars, are the things that will make us happy. And sure, maybe they will, but maybe they won't. Slow down and take the time to think about all the things you really, really want. You might find that you'd be happiest with something small, like backpacking around the world or giving to charities. Write down all your dream investments in a list to keep you on track. But nothing beats family. 
What's the point of racking up money if you can't spend it on something meaningful? Number 1. Make time for family. Explore the world. After putting some of your wealth aside, having millions in your bank account makes traveling the world appear simple. Why not embark on a daring global journey? You can now travel in elegance. So, say goodbye to twin-sized hotel rooms and economy-class seats. You can finally learn more about different cultures by taking trips throughout the world. Additionally, now you can travel in first class and stay in presidential suites while experiencing new cuisines and cultures. In other words, now you can travel in style. Keep your feet on the ground. Imagine becoming a millionaire overnight. If you had little income then, you now have the ability to drastically alter your life in just a couple of hours. Please refrain from doing so and avoid bragging just because of the few extra zeros added to the end of your bank account. Out of all, educate yourself. Educate yourself. And, of course, this is the most important thing. You'll be even worse with money if you were already bad with it before you won the lotto. A lack of knowledge is the leading cause of lottery winners losing their winnings. That's because there are now countless opportunities for things to go wrong. You've never had so much money in one spot before, and now you think the wallet must be endless. Like you've got infinite cash. If you won the lotto, educating yourself is the best thing you can do. Take a year off and devote it entirely to your education. Read every book you can find about money creation, wealth preservation, and leaving a legacy. You can even hire a successful entrepreneur to give you advice. Your newfound wealth will endure longer if you spend more on yourself today. Before concluding, let's take a look at this incident. One person was so poor before winning the lottery that he was living in government housing in some place because he couldn't afford to pay rent. We can only imagine what it must have felt like to suddenly win over $5 million. Unfortunately, he didn't really know what to do with all that cash, so he started buying any luxury item he could dream of, but that wasn't his biggest mistake. One day, two of his friends came to him with a business deal they easily convinced him to invest in. He loved the idea of going into business with friends, except they weren't really his friends. Sadly, they'd lied about the investment, and they took off with the last of his money just three years after his big win. He was broke and living in a mobile home. It's definitely true, you gotta be careful when choosing your friends. And here's another incident in which a person lost everything he won. He'd been a hard worker his whole life. He'd worked as a bricklayer in Spain, slowly earning himself enough money to support his family and even buying more than one house. And that's pretty impressive. After all that hard work, it almost felt like he'd earned his lottery win. He hit a jackpot worth about $8.6 million. But he wasn't the partying type and he didn't know what to do with all that cash, so he figured the most responsible thing to do was to take it to the bank. That's the advice lottery winners are always given, so it sounds like a pretty good decision. The experts at the bank told him to invest 40 of his winnings and put the rest into a savings account for his children. That sounded like a good idea to him, and he left his money in their hands. He continued going to work and lived his life the way he did before winning the lottery. After all, he was pretty happy that way. But then something went wrong. He suffered a serious injury to his knee. That meant he needed expensive surgery. Luckily, he had millions in that savings account thanks to his lottery winnings. He went down to the bank to withdraw some of his cash, but he was shocked to discover the account was totally empty. What he learned next would horrify anyone. The bank had put 40% of his winnings into a terrible investment. They told him there were no risks, but they were totally wrong. Not only had they lost his investment, but they'd gotten him into serious debt. To pay it off, they'd used all the cash in the savings account meant for his kids, and they'd even lost all the properties he'd earned through hard work. That's the perfect example of how many things can go wrong when you hit the lottery. It's pretty sad when someone loses everything because of someone else's mistake, but this next winner definitely caused their own downfall. I hope you got an idea of what to do after hitting a jackpot. What else would you add to this list? Let me know in the comments.
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.